What does the term eloquent rage mean to you? So I picked the term eloquent rage because a student actually used that term several years ago to describe me. Uh, I was a graduate instructor and months after the course that I was teaching ended, I ran into one of the young black women who had taken the course with me and she said, I used to love to listen to you lecture because she said your lectures were filled with rage, but it was like the most eloquent rage ever. And I immediately got defensive because black women are often accused of being angry. And so I said, I'm not angry, I'm passionate. And so she fixed me with this black girl stare and she was like, Brittany, you know you're angry. And it was like this way that she called BS on me that felt deeply honest and I felt seen. And what I loved was that she affirmed me, she called me out, but she also affirmed that I was good at my job, that she felt like that rage powered my teaching and helped make it feel authentic and helped her as a black woman in a predominantly white institution finding her way in the world to connect. And so it was like a breakthrough moment for me because it meant that all of a sudden I ha didn't have to deny that I was angry about the injustices that I teach about in my daily life and I was angry about all of the things that black women have to go through just to be seen as respected and valuable and treated with dignity uh, and so in that moment I began a journey of embracing my anger as a thing that didn't have to be destructive didn't have to be negative but could be an energy source that I use to power the work that I'm trying to do in the world what makes it your superpower well, that's what makes it my superpower, that I'm trying to harness anger as a source of energy. Here's the thing. If we think about our anger as something that we have to run from, as an emotion that we're uncomfortable with, and very often women and black people are taught to be uncomfortable with our anger, so if we are alienated from it, then that's the place where it can become destructive. But when we start to embrace it as legitimate and affirm that we're angry about actual things that are happening to us, that are messed up, and that we want to change, then all of a sudden it becomes an endless energy source because there's endless shit to be angry about, right? So it becomes an endless energy source and then we get to tap into it and to say, what is this, what the things that I'm angry about, what are they telling me about what I want to see in the world and what I want to have change? And then from that point, then you can decide what is the work that you're supposed to do? What are the things that you're supposed to build? Uh, and so I am a big proponent of rejecting this idea that when you're angry, what you do is you go out and you smash things and you're violent with people and you treat people badly. You don't have to do any of that. What you can do is say, this is telling me the thing there is an injustice and I have the power to correct it and to work alongside other people trying to correct it and that's the thing that I'm trying to do with my anger and I feel like I'm building the things I want to see which are people who are conscious and thoughtful about patriarchy and racism and who feel fired up to change it and that's the only way it will change.